This is an ultrasound image demonstrating a dorsally displaced distal radius fracture in a patient presenting to the emergency department after a fall onto outstretched hand. A linear probe is used and placed on the dorsal aspect of the patient's wrist with the probe marker pointed distally. In this image, we can appreciate two distinct bony structures demonstrated by hyperechoic surfaces with posterior shadowing. On the left side of the screen, we can see the distal fragment that is displaced dorsally compared to our proximal fragment that is seen here. This anechoic area here represents the hematoma where our anesthetic should be instilled to facilitate reduction. In order to perform the procedure, you can first identify the hematoma with ultrasound, then mark the skin, and then note the depth and trajectory to reach your hematoma. You can then set down the ultrasound probe and attempt your hematoma block. Alternatively, you can keep the ultrasound on the deformity and perform dynamic guidance, watching the needle move into the hematoma under the beam of the needle. Both techniques are acceptable, however, be sure to keep it sterile.